Hello everybody, I'm Vesper Rosset, and welcome to a first episode of Stardew Valley. I played uh, Harvest Moon before, and I played a little bit of Rune Factory, and I've heard great things about this, so I decided I need to try this game out. Oh, uh, I'll name me, and we'll go with Vesper Farms. Favorite thing? Uh... Favorite thing, Doctor Who. Okay, so I'm a boy, animal, like a dog. Are they gonna give me a dog? Or can I buy a dog? Hey, okay, uh, let's see. Well, there's a lot of skin tones, wow. Okay, I'm pretty average skin tone, hairstyle. Guess we'll go with that one. Oh, I need a hair color too. Brown's fine, I, I have brown hair, it's fine. Wow! There's a lot of choices for your little avatar. Go with the, there, blue and black. My colors. It's good. Okay. Let's jump right into it. Old man. Sleepy old man. And for my very special grandson. Can I advance it on my own? No. I want you to have this sealed envelope. I want his sword. Can I have the sword? Thanks. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. Why is there a germ on your fireplace? There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. No, no, I, I, I grew up with it. I'm used to it. It's fine. Twitchy. And your bright spirit will fade before growing emptiness. Wow, you were a downer. Okay. And then what? When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. I am sleepy now. I'm going to go away. I'll let Grandpa rest. The fact that he's giving me a thing or a present makes me think he's dying, but... Joja, join us. Thrive. Work. Terminated. Ooh. The Pillsy Cowboy. Nice. Is that me? Yeah, I think that's me. <sighs> it's too restless. Ah, oh, this job sucks. I've worked in a cubicle before. It is not a great experience. Pull whatever's in your drawer. Yeah. Dear Vesperacid, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. There is the same thing happened to me long ago, and I fought Diablo in the town of Tristram. I lost sight of what mattered most in my life. Real connections with other people and nature. Defeating Dark Lords. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy. Vesper Farm, oddly similar to your name. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. Yes, if Lou is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will you? Ask him if you've seen Bale or Mephisto. <laughs> Going for a nice long drive out into the countryside. The graphic style reminds me a lot of um, like Terraria or Starbound. Any of those games. I like those games. They're nice and they're simple, but they're very beautiful games. And this game is no exception to that. 0.5 miles to Stardew Valley. Hello, Birdie. Hello. Hello, you must be Vesperos, it's odd name. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lou sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's th he's there now, tidying things up for your arrival. Isn't that nice? The farm's right over here, if you follow me. No. I don't want to. Oh, it's a shithole. Thanks, Grandpa. This is Vesper Farm. Yeah, no, it's looking great. Yeah, he knows. What's the matter? 
Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleared up in no time. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Little dedication is all it's gonna take, huh? And here we are, your new home. This tiny wooden box. Oh, the new farmer! Hello, old man. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. Have they? It's not every day that someone moves in. It's quite a big deal. How did you know about me? My grandpa gave me a sealed letter, what I assume is several years ago. Maybe not. I don't know how old I was in that intro. Long enough for me to get sick of my job. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. Rustic? That's what she knows. Crusty might be a little more apt though. That is a weird way to describe a house. I don't care what what it looks like. Don't listen to her, Vesperosa. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so you buy one of her house upgrades. She's the Tom Nook of this game. Got it. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Well, maybe I'll do that. I don't know, I have a lot of work ahead of me cleaning up this whole mess. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. That's creepy as hell, but okay, that's good. That's just like uh, Harvest Moon. And maybe Rune Factory. I've only played a little tiny bit of Rune Factory. <laughs> it's morning! And we're saving. That's a good start. My pro oh, sweet! My progress was saved. Alright, WSAD, WSAD keys, shift is run, check is right click. Oh, okay, left click is move. Oh, uh, no, no, what have I done? Put it down. Okay, pick it, put, it, put it back. Put it back! Okay. Check this. I got 15 parsnip seeds! Alright. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. Sounds almost like my grandpa. Oh, uh... Okay. Oh, shit. What have I done? Stop it. Okay, uh, what is this? Getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use a bag in the tilled soil to sow the crop water every day until the crop is ready to harvest. Okay, so I'm supposed to cultivate and harvest a... and harvest a parsnip. Okay, it would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself to everybody in town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. Okay. Alright, so I got my axe, my hoe, my watering can, my pickaxe, and my scythe. Break stones, cut grass. Okay. Oh, this is just... This is just to or totally grown over. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. Alright, so I'm gonna do a little bit of clearing out. And then I will head into town. Okay, so I cleared a nice little patch of land. Now I'm gonna need to till the soil. Okay. Uh, just 15. Oh, okay, I have to do out to here. I probably cleared, could have cleared a bit more, but... Do I need spaces? I don't know if I need spaces. I'm just gonna do one big patch, it's fine. And I'll just walk all over the... Oh, I got clay. All right, seeds. Yes, good. So many seeds. And finally, we water them all. It's a nice cathartic experience just to, you know, complete these tasks and just nice, simple, not not stressful. There's no nobody shooting at you. There's no sneakiness that needs to be happening. It's nice. Okay. So now I got some extra time. I'm gonna go into town. Can I put that away? I'll just... There we go. Check that. You don't have any mail. Alright. What's this? Oh, okay. I will load in all of these. And mix it. Okay, I'll sell this. I'll sell the clay. And I have read this game has a crafting system, so I'm not gonna get rid of everything, but hopefully this will give me a little bit of head start with, um... You know, getting money. I Looks like I already have 500, but... All right, bus stop and Pelican Town. Let's go meet some of the people in Pelican Town. I use up half my energy. Oh. 
It's a nice little town. Still like the graphic style. It's one of those graphic styles that's simplistic but really nice looking, so it ages well. Games that try to be too realistic, it you know, after a few years you can just tell it doesn't look good anymore. But this game, this game will still look good in a couple of years because it's a nice simple art style. How many people am I supposed to meet? 28 people. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Nice to meet. Does that count as me? Stop in. If you need refreshments, I've always got hot coffee and cold beer at the ready. Good. Does that count? Yeah, I met Gus. All right. Oh, that's creepy. Little red eyes popped out here. I saw you, dog. Hey, hey, hey. Alex. Oh, hey. So you're the new guy, huh? Cool. I met Alex. Well, Star, Star, Star Drop, or, uh, Stardew Valley has a uh, trailer park. That's nice. Hey kid, name's Pam. Nice to meet you too, Pam. Moving along. <laughs> All right. Nice music. Nice relaxing sound. Oh, graveyard. What's this? It's an empty house. Cool. Hey, hey. What's, can I read these? Oh. Ooh. It's old and faded. Are they all old and faded? Our beloved ma- Mama? Mona. Una don you do push I- I don't know what that says. I was butchering that, I'm sure. Hey, I gotta say hi to everybody. Say hi to me, hey! Penny, hi. Oh, did you want something? I wanna say hi! Whatever. Who are you? Marnie? Ah, Mary Lewis told me you just arrived. Hi, Marnie. Yeah, thank you. Uh, hello. Go into this person's house. Don't mind me just wandering into everyone's house. I would have knocked, but that's the option it was given to me. I can read it in your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. You must be very dedicated to your job because you're advertising it always. Super Fashion Girl magazine. Nice. Hey, Barney. Does a sailor live here? Hey, little disinterested kid. Oh, Vincent. Oh, a stranger. My name is Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Well, that's all that counts. Don't talk to strangers unless they seem okay. Or are offering you candy. That seems like a great idea. I might match, but that's okay. I'm Jody. All right, Jody and Vincent. How many people have I met now? Ten. There's still 18 more people. This has a big cast of people. 18 more people I have yet to see. Now well, that's Marnie again. Ooh, cows. Hello, cows. Cow farm? Is there anybody in here? That's the important question. You're not good enough friends with Marnie. Oh, I'm in Marnie's house. I already met her. Screw that. Ooh, the beach. Nice. What is this? Some sort of owl statue? There's a shrine to owls? That's kind of weird. Elliot. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Ah, I know your type, Elliot. Down by the beach having your picnics and your luau's and your parties. It's craziness. Does this person have mail? I want to take your mail. Who's this? Hey, oh, you're a business though, aren't you? Hello there, welcome to Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. Uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display. But I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? Well, I reckon I can do that there, Colonel. What is this? There's a book missing here. There's a book missing here, too. I'm good. I catch on fast. Someone left their little stuffed animal here. What is this? Creepy. It's creepy. Well, I think 11 people is quite a good amount of people to be meeting on your first day in town. I'm brand new here. There's no reason I need to meet everyone today. They're, they will be here tomorrow as well, I bet. It's locked. Open 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. 
Oh, I missed him by 50 minutes. Are you kidding me? All right, well, I need to get back across the uh, river here. Joja Mart. Mm, I worked for that soulless company for years. Hello. Shane, I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Because the mayor told me to. I don't know. Fuck you. I don't want to talk to you anyway. All right, so I'm going to head back to my farm. And, oh, Pierre's. And get distracted yet again. Like you do. You're not Pierre, are you? That's Pierre. Hey, it's Mr. Vesperosset, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. It's a nice town. I enjoy this town. Okay, well, I have a lot of work ahead of me clearing out that stuff and getting my farm more established and meeting the rest of the people. So we will tackle that next time. I'm going to end this episode here. So if you enjoyed this, click the like button, leave me a comment, and make sure you subscribe. I upload new videos every day at 10 a.m. and noon Pacific Standard Time. Pacific Daylight Time, time soon. And until next time, good tea and goodbye. Oh boy, I can already tell it's going to be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. I'm a contestant? <laughs>